So it's recording now. <laughs> Good, because she missed out. Why? The band Cake only exists here in Cottonwood. You can hear their three hit songs daily, no matter where you go. I don't know why. Like the band was from like 19. Do they live here? Do I not know? Why do you care? Why? I don't care. Fine. <laughs> just why? You know, they, it was, they were fine. They were good. I didn't say they were bad. Just why those three songs on repeat? Every shop I go in, he's going the distance. Going for sleep. All right. Four rolls, break falls. Stay in the face. Tuck that elbow. Roll over the top. Good. Don't break properly. Hammock. That was okay. Uh, Work a little harder on that standing base thing. Got this. I'm doing my best. Right. Today's lesson, lesson six of the fundamental syllabus, we're going to be going over how to not get guillotined and how to apply an arm lock, specifically from the mouth. That one that no one teaches anymore because it's not a real thing is yes, good thing, yes, good. <laughs> See the tape? It's coming off, it should be on the side. All right, uh, do me a favor, forward roll, break roll, standing base roll. Good, drama. That's better, that's better. So when you're standing base, just a quick little add on. If you're struggling because of flexibility, when you come up and you start to from here, if you're standing, it's a bit of a pain, this back leg can act like a, a donkey kick, okay? So that's gonna help clear it a lot more. What I want is a loud, dramatic stomp with your foot next to your hand at the end. So not necessarily to stand. Overdo it if you have to, kick it back so that you can stomp. So one more time on this angle. And roll up. Can't really get it out, so I'm gonna kick it back. Okay, drama. Also, if you have to, put your head to the ground. We'll talk about this some other time. Head goes down, ass goes up. Stomp the stand. Try that, see if it helps. They're good at this. Maybe much better than what you are. Take your time. Yep. Yes! Way better already. Yeah. That's perfect. Good work. Okay, in this case, please. Give me two laps and we'll get started. And again, go to the classroom. Yes, that's good. Carry the heels. Very good. Time. Let me yell about that for a minute. So, when you do your hip escape warm up, I'm going to add a little bit of detail onto this. So, we got some time to add some extras on today. Imagine you have the pivot where you push off of your feet into your shoulder and move your button. That one's not going to be adding weight, but it's going to create an angle. What I want from you here, when you do this, imagine as you turn, you're kind of like a, a cylinder, okay? From here, I need my shoulder to pass things. So if I have a lot of weight on my shoulder, there's a bunch of different things that we can add on to this. But for now, imagine it's my hip shoveling as my hand reaches as low as I can, okay? So a common mistake that I see this during warm-ups, one, your feet stay in line. I can't bear any weight like this. I need to have a frame, okay? So my foot's gonna go outside of my hip and I'm turning my heels to the ceiling. We'll talk about that in a later class. For now, my elbow tucks, and I'm not doing this. My head's not staying off the ground to touch my feet. What I want from you guys is as low as possible, okay? I want you to be a part of the ground. As low as you can. And you can do this stationary, back and forth, and not have to move a billion times just to get that muscle memory going, okay? So the main thing I want to add on to that, make sure your foot is st uh, stepped outside of your hip bone, your heel is turning towards the ceiling and knee driving, and I want you to stay super low for all of it. Just you do that one more time. 
without moving, just stay in one spot. Good. Yeah, you don't have to move, you're fine. Just leave your feet where they are. Good. And just turn your heels each time. Good. You're moving by default. That's how good a hip escape is. Good. Very good. 100%. I'm much better. I think you are much better. But <laughs> like you've been practicing. It's like you have to do it every day. Yeah. It's weird. Okay. Sure. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> um, All right. So what we're going to be going over today is escaping the guillotine standing application. Um, mm. Let's fix that. You know how to do it? We'll be escaping the guillotine standing. We're only going to do one variation today, and I'll explain the next variation further down the line. Then I'm going to show you how to break it on. Subtlety. Okay. So in a perfect world, my job is to cover the distance manage the damage of getting to a clinch. Now, when I talk about a clinch, I usually talk about an upper body clinch in later classes. Every class, I'm looking for this, okay? I want your ear on the chest. I want you to be listening to their dreams, all right? If I go too low from here, if she was to just bend forward a little, I'm gonna have to bear a whole bunch of weight. If she was to wrap up my neck, then I'm gonna have to deal with that, okay? So. If you're not perfect, right? The adrenaline dump's happening, you get yourself a little, little bit of uh, shakes and that. Uh, 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 clinch! Shit happens, okay? If you come in a little bit too low, there is the possibility for someone to wrap your neck. Now, nine times out of ten, people don't even know what they're doing. It's still going to be a pain for you to deal with, okay? So, first off, yeah, I that was good. <laughs> trying to remember. First off, your job cover the distance, manage the damage, get to the clinch. Upper body clinch is what you're looking for. And you're not looking to drop a level, okay? You drop a level, guillotines happen by default, right? So, in the same part, what we're going to do is a bit of a dance move on how to get out of the guillotine standing, okay? Head forward, I wrap the neck from here, guillotine, right? You're going to be doing that to me. First off, one thing. If I was to pull her neck forward, go ahead and come. Yes, that's guillotine happen. You know what to do. Yes. Never let your nose go before your toes. That should be like a golden rule for you for the rest of your life. If you ever have to do something like this for a move, you're doing it wrong. Okay? If she got pulled, yes. Her job is to put her hands up and keep her hips up underneath her. Okay? That's a huge thing to remember. Because I see people kind of teaching this like, okay, so I get the neck and then I push. <laughs> yes. Okay. Put your hands up. Perfect. Okay. Don't ever let your nose go before your toes. Uh, problem solved, number one. Okay. Number two, if I came in too low, whose fault was that? <laughs> ah, we need to fix that. Get your hips up underneath you. Now, the dance move. From here, my partner's going to wrap, actually, let's swap sides. My partner's going to wrap a guilty on this side for me. Perfect. Number one, the very first thing that I need to do from here is I need to protect myself first, okay? So what I'm doing is I'm tensing my neck and I'm turning my chin, all right? Tense the neck, turn the chin, hand to the hip, so time. When I say tense the neck, make an ugly face, uglier than this, uh, like that. So if you clench your jaw and flex the platissima, fancy word, it's the muscle around your neck. Do it, all right, I say it every class, no one remembers who the guy is, Henry Rollins' neck. Uh, look him up. Do a Henry Rollins neck. Uh, turn the chin. Okay? Problem is many these people try to tuck the chin and grab onto the wrist for this. Don't hold the wrist. You don't need to. What you need to do is you need to brace off of the hip bone instead. Actually, let's turn up this side so we can see that. Should we do a neck warm up? No, do it. It's a little late. I have things to do. Do a warm up before you do these, right? Uh, previous classes I've talked about how to warm up your neck without doing neck bridges. Make two fists. Push, push. Push your tongue into the top of your mouth and clench your teeth and do the ugly face. All right, it's a good warm up. Put a palm on the side of your head. Push and push, push and push. You already went to the gym. You should be warmed up. Yeah. <laughs> I don't do nice stuff. I don't do nice stuff. All right, so if the guillotine is wrapped, the very first thing before executing any moves, safety and base, okay? So I don't want to get moved around too much. 
and I don't want my neck getting crushed while I do the escape. So number one, dance move. From here, your partner's gonna wrap up the guillotine. You're gonna tense the neck, turn the chin. Hand finds the hip bone, okay? Now from here, if she was to walk forward, my weight goes in my feet. If she was to walk away, it goes in my toes. So I'm always gonna find a good base, okay? Now, most people are holding this wrong, so feel free to just push and pull the head out, okay? Hopefully, um, I hope this. She should know how to hold this. The elbow goes forward, the shoulder rolls down, and it's structure instead of strength or deal. Let's execute an actual escape for a technical guillotine, not just a wrap. Again, start with the harder. Neck wraps, pause here. If she lifts, you can hear my voice start to turn. Good. From here, I'm going to tense my neck and turn my chin. Now, from here, she starts to lift. I should still be able to talk. Yeah, I mean it. From here, she continues. Maybe she brings her hip in. That's what I need to worry about. Okay? Tensing the neck and turning the chin is going to be okay, right? But the minute the hip starts to come in, that's when they start to lift even higher. It's going to crush. Okay? So what I need to do is I need to build a frame on the hip bone to stop that hip coming in. And I also need to build a frame there to stop them from following me around to the escape. So one more time. Pause here. Tense the neck. Turn the chin. Put the palm of your hand on the hip bone itself as you're building your base. Okay? Remember, the hand that's forward is a leg that's forward forever and ever and ever. Now, dance move. Big swing. You need to keep your head there. It's going to get worse for you, okay? I'm just going to hold the back, okay? So this hand is reaching over the back. It's like I'm patting him on the back and grabbing onto a shirt or a belt or whatever I can reach. Now from here, my down is this. She starts to apply the guilty. Lift, 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 lift. Yes. I'm letting that lift bring me into the escape, okay? I'm cutting an angle and I'm gonna find my base. So let's do that again. Also, just quickly, when you do this with a partner, a common mistake, if partner doesn't quite know what they're doing, put your head over on this side. If your hand goes here, oh. <laughs> fine. Still a thing, it's a strength thing though. What I want is your arm over the shoulder. Their head should be close to your hand. So come back over here, please. Palms standing in front of the camera. Back on the guillotine. Okay, yes, everything's a little bit worse now. Perfect. Okay. From here, again, tense the neck, turn the chin. Find the hip bone, find your base. Now, my arm is going to swing. Big swing and a pat on the back. Now, I can continue to motion around, but the easiest thing in the world to do is wait for them to lift. There it is. She helps me shuffle around. Now, when I shuffled around, I found my base. I'll show you without her in a second. Turn back towards me. Yeah. That's the whole point. The hand stays on the hip, stop you from running around in circles. Okay? So if you look at me without her, when I'm here, tensing the neck, turning the chin, pushing at the hip. Okay? So I'm using the pad of my hand on the hip bone itself. This hand is going to do a big swing if the leg comes back and pat him on the back. All right? Now, from here, Later classes, I'll talk about uh, huge guys just lifting you off the ground, okay? Big people kind of snapping you down. There's an answer for all of those. But for now, the basic application of the escape from here, walk around, it's easy, okay? Again, tense the neck, turn the chin, hand on the hip, big swing as you step into base. Now from here, my base is a little bit off, so I need to fix it. So when that person starts to lift, I'm gonna use that to come around and fix my base. My elbow is going down. So we'll get from here. Eh, base is a little off. I use the lift to find my neutral base by helping my elbow come down. Hand on the hip. They don't think follow me. Elbow coming down. And I'm putting my hips up underneath me. So that person who started looking like this should end up looking like this, trying to hold on. One more time from here, please. Tense the neck, turn the chin, hand on the hip, big swing as you find your base. Now from here, you can make this happen, or you can wait for the lift. Perfect. Now, I found my base. From here, I'm going to take this back knee, and I'm going to give them a little tap, breaking their base. Hold on as tight as you can forever and ever like you hate me. From here, tap, shuffle. Now, I can gently put this person down. Okay? Tap. I am almost joking. Yes, almost. Not yet, though. 
Okay. Your job is to not fall with this person. It's a controlled demolition. Okay. So I need you to have your base. You have your base and lower yourself down. Okay. Let's do that one more time. And I need you to hold on for dear life. If the person lets go, yes, you don't have to do anything after that. You can go to the mouth. Okay. But for now, your partner's going to hang on tight. Again, turn the neck, tense the chin, and from over, I'm fighting my base. She lifts, falls. From here, I'm not just going to walk past and fall with them. I'm keeping my base. I tap the knee, and now I take a shuffle step, okay? Now from here, I can gently put this person down. When you do this, don't get in the habit of letting your weight fall forward. The person can roll you back over, okay? What I want from you is this. Hold on tight. From here, your hand is going to block the hip, and this hand comes over the top. Your weight goes heavy in your butt, okay? One more time, lift your head, please. We started here on the way down. The moment you go to the ground, don't let your head be heavy. Let your butt get heavy. Hand on the hip, elbow on the other side. Time. One time without you. Starting from here, we're finding our base and protecting ourselves. Big swing over the arm. From here, when they lift, that's going to take me around to finding my base. I don't want to just fall with this person. I'm going to give them a little tap. I'm going to shuffle in base. Put the person down slowly. Okay? If you keep your hips up underneath you, it's very easy to do that. If you let your nose go before your toes, you're going to go falling. Okay? So imagine you're doing a deadlift or a squat. Simple exercise. From here, Hand on the hip, hand on the back. As we put them down, don't put your weight forward. Put your hand by the hip, put your elbow by the head, and sink down into your butt. Okay? All right. I said we stop at that. We're going to try that a couple of times, and I'm going to add on how to get out of that at the end. Okay? So start with me just over here. Step in front. Ah, what was that? Ah. Ah. All right, so for the sake of arguments, start with your partner here, wrap up a loose guillotine, and remember to hold on to it for your partner, okay? So number one, tense your neck, turn your chin. Find the hip bone, take a step back with your right, yes! And I walk you forward. Yeah, it's gonna pull you forward. Yeah, it's better. Good, side to side, yes! Good base. Perfect. Now, from here, no, no, pause. You don't have to really do anything. Find my hip bone. You can trust me, I'm bony. Yes, you feel that? Don't let me push. Yes, good. If you can't be strong enough, put your elbow in and tuck your hip bone to your elbow. It only gets to go that far. You feel that? Yes. Now, when I lift, come around. Yes, perfect. Use your knee to chop. Take a step. Yes, good. Okay. From here, I want you to swap hands. One, two, elbow in the neck, heavy in the butt. Yes. There you go. Done. Okay. Let's do that one more time. I thought I was super stable when I came down. No, you weren't. <laughs> it's all good. This is the whole job. Forever wife. Yeah, yeah. All right. So from here, what I want from you is I want tap, step. So not tap and maybe. Yeah, I wasn't sure what to do. Yeah, so look at me. Like tap and step on the You're screen. here. You're going to tap, step. So step in slot, okay? like a shitty 90s dance. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> shitty. Okay. Up into a guillotine. Tense the neck. Turn the chin. Hand behind the hip. Find your base. Arm swings over. Perfect. And you want to lift? Yes. Tap. Slide. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Pause here. From here. Yes. Heavy in the butt. Now swap hands. Perfect. Now what's happening here with her swapping hands? This is stopping my head from going this way and my hips from going this way. Because right now, take your arms, let go. If I can, I can start to move myself around and put her into the guard. I can put my legs between me and her. I can give up. There's a whole bunch of crap to deal with. Right now, if she just puts an elbow by my neck and a hand by my hip, it's much harder for me to do anything that I find useful. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to make sure that we block the hip and hug the neck. 
Now, how to get out. Put a finger in the right side. <laughs> Problem solved. Okay, so it's a very litigious society, especially here. If you damage this person, you can end up paying a whole lot of money. And it could have been their fault. They could have been the one picking the fight, and you're just trying to survive. Okay? So, worst case scenario, you can hurt them very easily. Okay? There's a lot of options from here. But for now, what we're going to do is we're going to threaten the neck, and I'm going to teach you how to do it properly. All right? So one more time, start with your standing. We execute the takedown. Yes. Your partner holds on for dear life. Thank you. From here, my hand finds the hip bone, my elbow comes over the top. Now, big reminder from here. Yes, I can be dropping elbows. From here, hammer fist, I can hold the hand and I can lean to the head. There's a lot of options here. Time to let go. See where you are. If, worst case scenario, you had to do something, when you put a finger in somebody's eye, don't go to the thumb. Close your eyes. Eh, that's all right. Use the tip. Yes. Do it. Yeah, they flinch. They flinch <laughs> and they'll move. And that's more than enough. Okay? Just a little flinch. But again, like I said, we're here to take care of this person, not ruin their lives and get sued. All right? So from here, what we're going to do is spread the neck. Let me turn around. this way. Good. Wrap up my heel team one more time. Perfect. Now from here, remember where my hands are. What I'm going to do is this. My base is solid. It comes back into my butt. And this hand's going to come back. When it comes back, I'm going to grab the shoulder. Just stay where you are. I'm going to hold the shoulder and I'm going to use my forearm to threaten the neck, okay? Now, if their chin is tucked, I'll talk about that in a second. But for now, the basic application of this is going to be my hand on the shoulder itself. I'm not looking to push my elbow to the ground. If I push my elbow to the ground, it only goes so far. It's a little uncomfortable, but eventually my hand slips and my elbow touches the ground. What I want is I'm pushing my hand down to her feet and my elbow up, okay? That's very subtle, and you're gonna have to feel that one day, okay? Let's change angles. Hold here. When you do this move, you don't have to hold on to anything. Your hand is gonna be resting on the shoulder, okay? I am pushing the shoulder down to the feet. I'm not pushing my elbow to the ground. The hand is going down to the feet. The elbow is coming high. And then down. Thank you for not tapping my face. <laughs> Your job is the elbow goes high and down. Okay, yeah, just tap them back loudly. Again, from here, I'm pushing the shoulder down. The elbow is coming high and slightly down. That's as much as that takes. If you don't believe me, come in the past. It's very uncomfortable. Okay? Yes. All right. So from here, your partner has a guillotine wrapped up on you. Your job is just to make them respect your authority. All right, so put your hand, <laughs> your hand on the shoulder, use your elbow. And for real, just like they tuck their chin, use your elbow like a car jack. You don't have to get technical about this. Tuck your chin, pause. Tuck your chin, just car jack, car jack. Okay, you don't have to be nice. This is an actual fight. All right, from here, if she tucked her chin far and away, pause, follow me. Yes. Come back with your hand, use your fist, push. Now apply the chin. <laughs> Okay, so start with guillotine. I'm here with my base. Use your elbow. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it works. If you do it right, it works. If you just grab things and push, eh, I would never tap that. Okay, you want to give it a go? Yes. Stuff and start. I guess it works for men. Yeah. Oh, God. Greg loved this one. Here, a huge Adam's apple. Just grind the Adam's apple until they cry. It's the way if you shave your head, you're part of the cult. Let's do it. Pause. Perfect. Shin turns. Tense the neck. Hand to the hip bone. Find your base. Good. Arm swings over the top. And when I start to lift, come around. Good. Chop. Shuffle. Perfect. From here, find your base. Yes, good. Now, make me regret this. Push your hand to my feet. 
and push your elbow up. Yes, push your hand down, your elbow up and down. Do that one more time. Yeah, automatically, I'm going to go down like this. No, no, it's a common mistake. Pause here. I want your hand pushing mm -hmm. and your elbow flaring and then shift up. Again. Find your base. Find your base. Yes. Good. Now make me. Good. That was good. I'm happy with that. Okay. So, when we're doing this, there are multitudes of add ons to this. There's a long food choke, there's a mount transition, there's all kinds of fun stuff, right? What I want from you is to not get guillotined. That's it. Once they've let go, feel free to continue or de-escalate, however you feel, okay? Now, let's talk about continuing. Is this a bread cutter or uh, that's another one? It's got a million names. Yes, it is a bread cutter or a paper cutter or a forearm show, blah, blah, blah. I'm sure it's got a fancy Japanese name or a Brazilian name, whatever. Hurt neck, <laughs> squish neck, make them not hold thing. Mm -hmm. wow. And then, if you want to, continue it. Like, use it. You can hold on to it. You start to pick the pants up and just lean them over the top of it. Yeah, it's brutal. That's a good choke, especially if you know how to do it properly. Yeah. All right. That was good. Thank you. Can you just lay down? Head that way, legs out. Guilty. No. Let go of the guilty. Awesome. I'm going to mount. Okay. So, from now, yes. <laughs> you don't have to be too technical when it comes to people that don't know how to fight. Feel free to stand up and walk away or transition to the mount, right? So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going with the arm lock from the mount. The first thing that I need to show you guys how to do is control the arm lock before we do the setup. So, let me tilt the camera down a little bit more. I'm not standing anymore. And we will go over the basic application of an arm lock. And then I'm going to get a little bit complicated near the end. Okay. Once you lay your head towards the camera, please. And let's scoot back towards the wall. Scoot a little bit this way. And then one more. This way. Perfect. Okay. So, starting with your partner laying on their back, we're going to collect the arm and we're going to go over a, a, a stationary drill. Okay. So, most of you know what an arm lock is. I'm gonna overcomplicate it. <laughs> yeah. From here, I want you to hold your hands together like me. Perfect. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, oh, yeah, you're great. <laughs> from here, what I need you to understand is that when we're doing this arm lock, the legs aren't straight and we're not laying down on our back. Okay? What I want from you is this your heels are pulling to you and your knees are pinching tight. Okay? That's super important to understand. So let's say from here, my right hand is controlling, my left hand is posted. My heels are gonna be pulled in, my knees are gonna be pinched super tight. Now the basic application of this, when I start to fall back, go ahead and let go for now. From here, for me to apply this, I'm not gonna just be holding onto the arm itself. Move your wrist around, and you notice your elbow follows, okay? What I'm looking to do is I'm looking to control the thumb, or at least point the thumb in a direction. What I'm doing is pinching my knees, holding my heels, and I've taken out all the slack because of that. I'm keeping control of the thumb, and I gently lift, okay? So I'm pulling the hand down, and it depends on how badly you want to hurt this person. You're just going to turn the wrist and pull it off into the side, oh my God. okay? Off into the side. Not necessarily hips to the ceiling. Maybe you have to hyperextend it a whole bunch off into the side. Okay? What's important that you understand is that this is not a thing, is it? It's on my chest. You feel yeah. that? Yeah. This is kind of uncomfortable. Yeah. What I want from you is this. I want you to be as close to the shoulder as possible, and I want your knees pinched, because right now it feels like there's a lot of slack. Watch what happens to the arm when I pinch the knees. <laughs> Watch what happens to the arm when I pull the heels to me. Now I've taken out all the slack that I made a firm connection. This is so strong. Okay, so from here, start with your partner. We're going to test a couple of things. So um, we're going to swap roles and I'll show you how to test. Okay. 
Legs up top. Perfect. Okay. Now, from here, straighten out your legs a little bit. A little bit. Pause. So, right now, her heels are not pulled into me. It's very easy for me to pull my elbow to the ground. Okay? So, pull your heels to you. It's a lot harder for me to pull my elbow to the ground. You feel that? Okay. So, now from here, spread your knees wide. It's very easy for me to crawl out. Okay? Again, pinch your knees. Good. It, now it's much harder for me to do. Yeah. It's much harder for me to do. You feel control. Yeah. Okay. Now I want you to hold on to the wrist. Good. Now from here, you can hit it however you want, but imagine you want to make sure my thumb is going to the sky for now. Tap. Okay. Pinch the knees. Hold the heels to you. And start to lay back again. Tap. Okay. A little bit lower. Hold the thumb to you. Now off into a side. Tap. Uh, <laughs> you feel that pop? <laughs> no, That's a decade of crap. Like, I'm never tapping. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, yeah, from here, you're looking to make sure that my elbow can't come to the ground. You're looking to make sure that my head can't slip out. Okay? So, tiny little details like this. Let's swap over one more time. Arm, turn a little bit with me. Pause. Okay. So from here, I want you to pull your elbow to the ground by turning towards me. Yes. Come back. We'll you guys have to do that. Okay. I want you to push my knee up and fall over the top. Yes. Good. Come back. I want you to push my knee up and just sit up. Yeah. Sit up. Oh, awesome. Let's go back a little bit. Pause. From here. Pull your elbow to the ground. Nice up. Good. Nice sturdy hold. Now, tiny little details for this. I'm sorry. Sit up. Okay. So this is a great little self-defense thing, by the way. If somebody sits up to bite you, there's a huge space between their head and whatever side of the knee. And it's probably not padded. So feel free to straighten out your leg and snap it to the ground, okay? Then hit the arm, all right? Again, snap, okay? Now from here, if, uh, let's say, swing your legs really high, you know, don't get technical, throw your legs over your head. Yes, good, yeah, yes, again, again. She's rocking the boat, yes, yes, yes. Okay, fine, so you can head up. Push your hips up. Throw your legs up. Okay, so you can need it. Turn a little bit. So this is a little bit of a, a flinch drill, a parry drill. Slow motion, sit up. Add weight. Slow motion, legs in the air. Add weight. Okay? So your heel just goes, no. Comes back to neutral. She sits up, your heel says, no. Comes back to neutral. Now, a common mistake that I see with arm locks is this. Crossing the ankles, yes, if you're strong enough and flexible enough, you might be able to pull something off. But right now, what happened? Yes, okay, so my knees are no longer pinched. My heels might be pulled in, but the fact that my ankles have crossed has made my knees go wide. If you can cross your ankles and pinch your knees, cool, go for it. What I recommend is just crossing your big toes. If you have to cross something for control, cross your big toes, pull your heels in, Pinch your knees. Look at all that slack gone. Okay? Now turn your legs over the top. Back to neutral. Sit up. Back to neutral. Okay? That's going to buy you some time for the break. And the break will just come like this. It should be very sick. Okay? Uh, let's do a quick maintenance test before I do the setups. You're going to do that to me. Let's get ready for you. Not good enough. <laughs> Alright, let's go slow. Sit up, hold the arm, post with one hand. Perfect. <laughs> okay, I try and sit up. Oh, good. I throw my hips up. Yes! Perfect. Good one. I wasn't sitting up. 
I'm so sorry. Good. 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 Yes. Oh, God. Just break it. Crap. Oh, Jesus. Fucking animal. <sighs> Alright. You got me. Alright. <laughs> so, there's a whole bunch of little add-ons as to if they're holding on and they'll never let it go. And I got an answer. I got like three very violent answers and one super tight. So, Why yeah, it's all good. Hammer fist is always good. The, the, the Swayze Roadhouse is a classic. But, um, big, big fan of the technical variation, subluxing in the shoulder. And I'll show that at the very end. For now, let's go over the idea of getting the arm from the mouse. So what I want you to do is lay down and head towards the camera, please. Yeah. Hopefully every damn school in the world teaches this at least once to a white belt, right? But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you uh, a little bit more of an advanced variation on the theme. If I manage to get into the mount, now from here, previous classes we talked about the idea of shooting the hooks in, okay? Now if she was to push at my chest, yes, continue to push, continue to push, continue to push. I have the option of swimming all the time. Okay, I can always swim and come back to neutral and get heavier as I go. Now here's a tiny detail that you could add on to this. Any point in time that somebody starts to push you away, it's most likely because you were hitting them. Okay, it's not because that's an escape. Because you'll hear a lot of schools complain about it. No one's ever going to give you their arms. Hit them. <laughs> like, for real. Just smack them around a couple times see what they do. Okay, most people's reaction is to cover up huddle on the ball and try and get to the knees or push you away. So there's this lost art of smacking people around to get submissions, right? So if I'm here, I managed to get to the mount. Now, she might not be looking for an escape by doing that. What else if I did that? Yeah, what was her first reaction? And she's trembling. Her hands came up. Yes, now push me away. Push me away, push me away, push me away. Now let me touch you there. Uh, okay. What we're going to be doing is the classic arm bar from mount. But I want to go a little bit technical on this. Let's do the dance move first. We're going to start with a partner from here. Hands and knees. They're going to put two hands on your chest and continue to push. Pause. The most important part about this arm lock is your weight distribution. Because right now, if I started to hand over top, hand underneath, pull your elbow to the mat. There's no arm lock. Pull your elbow to the mat. Okay, you make them carry. Okay, your job is not to just do a dance move, your job is to make their life hell. Okay, they wanted to push, make them keep pushing. Okay, if they let go, land, <clears throat> land on them. Sorry, push, stop pushing. Yeah, it's not going to end well. Okay, so you need to give them a little bit of weight to deal with. Okay, so again. Just a dance move for now. Your partner's gonna put two hands on the chest and continue to push, pause. One hand's gonna come over the top of the arm, one hand's gonna come underneath like you're doing a heart starter, okay? Now from here, whatever arm is over the top, you're going in that direction, all right? Now just as a dance move for now, I want you to slide your thigh behind the tricep. That's it for now, okay? That's very important that you understand that there's a door stop that's gonna make them, oh, we're able to the mat again. Good, that's step one. Now, how do I get this leg over? Keep your hands up, pause, perfect. You're gonna make sure you look at your foot, okay? When you look at your foot, that's giving you the ability to flare your knee and take the weight off of this leg. Now, I have the ability to free that leg up. Because nine times out of 10, you're gonna see this. You need to push. A complete disconnection from the person. Right? Everything that I teach, everything that I yell about and carry on about is add weight and be a nightmare. Okay? There's no point in this where she should feel comfortable about doing anything. Continue to push. Mean it. Mean it. Mean it. Mean it. Mean it. Okay? Add weight. Be nightmare. Jesus. Okay, so pause here. Your partner's gonna push and we're gonna do a dance move version about the weight. Perfect. Over the top, underneath. Slide your thigh up and look at your foot. Now when you do that, your knee should be flaring enough. Right now I can't lift my left leg. If I put my weight to my right knee, my left leg becomes very light and I can sit down. 
Okay? So I want you guys to practice that over and over and over. One last time, just as a dance move. Push, two hands. Slide the thigh up and look at your foot. Eventually, you can do that all at once, okay? Flare the knee, and it comes over the top. One last time, and eventually, push. Slow is smooth, and smooth will be fast, okay? You're gonna do that to me. Oh, yeah. Ajis. Ajis. You're doing great. We're still on the camera? Sorry, I wasn't breathing properly. Oh, okay. You should okay. probably breathe out of your stomach. If you're breathing out of your chest, when your partner starts to push down on your chest and puts all their weight into the tooth, and you made the death. If you breathe through the stomach while you're doing this, put all your weight into my chest. I can still stay here and I can still breathe and I'm perfectly fine. Okay? Okay. So, partner starts in the mount. Okay. okay, okay. I start to push the chest. I'm the frame for her. Good. I want you to yes, yes. Slide your thigh up. Perfect. Okay. Look at the bottom of your right foot. Put your weight into your right knee and throw your leg over. Very good. Again. Lean your weight into me. Yes. Thigh, foot, left. Yes. Good. Let's do it again. Uh, okay. No, again. Okay. Maybe. I don't know. Come back and do the dance move again and again and again until it becomes smooth. Okay, try and do all the steps at once. Thigh, foot. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Perfect. Eventually, three steps will become one. And we're going to talk about this remount thing in a second as well. Okay? You're doing good. <laughs> Pause here. Build a frame. Put your weight into me. Put your hands down. Pause. When you slide your thigh up, I want you to look at your foot at the same time. So do both. Yes! Throw the leg over. Yes! <laughs> good. Again. It takes a bit. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna talk about that lean now. You said it. Crazy. Okay. Sorry. Pause here. Side foot. Yes. Very good. Okay. Let's talk about that lean now. Slight OCD. Okay. I'll get you to hop over here for a second. Oh, I was still pushing on you. No. Hop no. over here for a second. Okay. So uh, in previous classes, we talked about this as a warm up. Okay. Locking the core and turning the hip, and then opening the hips, and blah, 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 okay? So what we're gonna do, just to add on to this, we're gonna do a remount technique warm up, okay? So every time you drill this with a partner, don't just get up and walk away, because if you manage to dislocate somebody's elbow in a fight, the fight's not over, right? So if you break someone's arm, they might be mad, so you should probably keep control over this person. I'd like you to lay down, please. Scoot back, over towards my legs, arm please, perfect. When I lay back and I have managed to get the arm lock, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to make sure that I switch my base and slide back on top, okay? And you're going to leave your arm there for safety, okay? So when I'm here, her arm stays where it is, switch, and let your knee go in line with the head. Put your leg across, and you can just slowly bring yourself back up to the mount. Okay? So, you do that on both sides. So let's say, go ahead and push. Two hands. Perfect. Boom. One. And back up. So you go ahead and push. Boom. Perfect. Slide across. Okay? Are you okay? Everything looks uncomfortable. Good. Again. Good. Oh God, my <laughs> Again. You're gonna do it to me, okay? You got this. Do the arm walk. You are. Or 
was perfect. Let go of everything. Okay. From here, turn your hip. This knee comes down. Leg and mount. Good. Do that again. On the same side? Yes. Yes. Perfect. Turn the hip. There you go. No, that was good. Okay. Yes. Yes. Turn the hip. Yes. Lean up. Very good. One more time. Good. Turn the hip. Lean up. 100%. So, safety tip for the partner. You can leave your arm there. Shouldn't end up being a bicep slice, but you can also let your arm kind of follow them down. Let's do that one more time. Pay attention to my arm. One more time. I can't do that. No, you're fine. Do the remount. My arm kind of relaxes and lets her go. Let's do the other side. Relaxes and lets her go. 100%. I'm very happy with that. Okay, so let's add on to that, make it a whole lot more violent. When we do this arm lock, two things I want you to be aware of. We got time. If your hooks are in and they start to push, continue to push, 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 push. Swim and get heavy in the chest. Continue to push. If they really mean it and they do it again, imagine you're at the gym. And somebody was doing bench press, and he just walked up to the bench and took five pounds off of one side. That person was, uh, so right now, if she starts pushing my chest, just roll a shoulder, okay? You can just shimmy your shoulders, and that's going to break their structure. Continue to push. Mean it. Mean it. Make them be the ones that struggle, okay? Gas them out. And take your time, all right? So again, my partner's going to push. Yes. I build my friend and I make them carry me. My hands don't even have to be connected. They're here just in case. From here, I'm sliding the thigh, looking at the foot. Pull on the top, finish the arm. Take your time, remount. Your partner's gonna push. Add all your weight. Slide up the thigh, lift the foot. Take your time. Remount. You good? Okay. So that's your arm lock from the mount drill. So let's add on to this. What happens if she just starts to huddle up a little ball? We modify. All right. So we're going to go with two, two variations of the game. If your partner wants to turn, now you still have the option of taking the back. If they go to their knees, continue. The back hook enters, and we can take the back, come back to this. Lay down on your back. When your partner rolls over, Modify the mount and keep your head and uh, chest nice and heavy, weight in your hands. Don't sit up. Stay here and take your time. Now, if they're staying here, feel free to collect the arm, okay? So my hand's going to come underneath. <coughs> underneath, hold on to the shoulder itself. I want to take out the slack and I want to touch her elbow to my chest. Now, here's a very important detail. I want you to turn back towards me and put your elbow to the ground. Yes, come back. I want you to turn back towards me and put your elbow to the ground. Yes, come back. I want you to turn back towards me and put your elbow to the ground. I can't. Perfect. Oh, when you get here, make them look at the ground. So you're turning their chin. So put your palm on their face, make them look at the ground, and have your knee as a range behind the head. So one more time, laying on the back. When your partner starts to roll, modify. Collect the arm by holding onto the shoulder. My knee is tight behind the head. It's not loose hanging out back here. Keep the knee tight behind the head and right away, make them look at the ground, okay? So use your palm, look up please. Push and leave your forearm on the neck. Leave your knee on the back of the head. Turn back towards me. Good, last time. I almost went to tap. <laughs> Your partner turns. Oh, mine. Cool. No escape. Now, just like before, we need to create an angle to get this leg over. Because right now, I can't just lift my leg up. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to walk my foot up. I'm walking my foot all the way up to the armpit and flaring the knee. 
Now that I flared the knee, all the weight can come off of my back leg. One more time. Modify, collect, pause here, and put your arm back. If your partner's arm is here, tucked in, when you do this, you can pinch the skin on the tricep. So for the sake of argument, your partner covers their face. They're gonna lift their elbow up and cover their face, just in case, because remember, like some of you are white belts, and come a heel in the face pretty easy doing this, okay? When you walk your foot up, safety tip, lift your elbow and cover your face. That way I'm not pinching the skin, and I'm not accidentally kicking you in the face. One last time from the start. Modify, collect the arm, pin the chin, walk the foot up, put all your weight into your knee to take it off your back leg. Now, when you come to here, same application applies, okay? Once you've done it, take your time, lean mount, okay? I want you to do that to me, and I'm gonna talk about dismounting in the fight, okay? So, let's swap rolls. Now, let's just give up on that belt for today. Ah. Up on top of the mat. Okay, so maybe I exhausted myself trying to do this, and now my arm starts to come across, so maybe I'll move. Will I turn? Yes. Now from here, I know better than to turn my back on somebody. Pause here. Yes. Come up under my arm. Yes. Grab your shoulder. Push my chin to the ground. Good. Walking the foot up, flare the knee, leg comes over, yes. Finish the lock. Now, do the remount. Very good. Let's do that again one more time. We'll do it on the stretch. Can you see us on the camera? Yes. Okay. Maybe I'm pushing. Maybe she pushes her chest. Yes. Maybe I say no. Be here. Not bad. Need it. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Okay. So, let me do this. We have to be aware of the fact that somebody could be trying to roll to their knees. Don't try and stop them. If somebody wants to get their back, take their back. It's fine, right? If somebody huddles up in a little ball and just doesn't want to do anything, evaluate the situation. Do you really need to hurt them? Who knows? Maybe. <laughs> Your job from here is to build a structure that doesn't require strength, and then you can break the arm fairly easy. Now, once we've broken somebody's arm, if, you know, we remount. Now, when we remount, maybe we need to dismount. Would you lay down into his hand? Okay, so, let's say that arm's not good anymore. This is, it's a bit broken. Yeah. This one's fine. Maybe you're a little bit angry about it. Yeah, yeah, the full fight's over now. <laughs> okay, so you don't just stand up off of somebody. Okay, cool. So maybe I pin them down. Maybe I go to a knee ride. And I go, yeah, all right. Oh. Spawn. Okay, so we're going to do a dance move on this. Let's say this arm's busted. Cool. I'm just going to leave my weight into that. Okay. I'm going to put a C clamp just on the neck and the chest. All right. So let her see. Just here on the clavicle, and I'm putting my weight forward to take the weight off of my knees. All right, so everything's kind of pinned. I need you to move through your stomach for the sake of argument. Okay, so my weight comes forward so that I can be able to be light on my knees. Okay, that's super important because we're going to pivot and we're going to go to what's called a knee ride. Okay, remember the side that I'm on and the side that I'm going to is the hand that I'm going to be pinning. All right, so from here, breathe in your stomach. I'm light on my knees. I'm going to hop up and put my shin across. When I do that, I'm always holding on to the hand that's closest to me. Okay? And I'm going to take my head off of line. I'm going to find base. So I'm never here. Start to roll to your left. Uh, start to roll to your left. Start to roll to your right. You want to be in base. Now, you do not have to overdo this and put a knee in the sternum or anything fancy or already called. Like, no base. Your shin just rides the hip line. It's perfectly fine. Okay? And talk about advanced knee rides later. For now, start with your partner. Whatever side you're going to, pin. C clamp at the neck. Put your weight into your hands to take the weight off of your knees. Active toes, I'm going to slide my shin across. 
and step. I want to be in a line. I don't want to be too close, too close. I want base. Now from here, the most important part about all of this, was that a good decision on my part? Yeah. No. Step in line with the head. Step away. No. No. Okay. So one more time as a dance move. In, shin, step. Okay. Yeah. Oh, one more time as the entire damn thing. She pushes. Uh. Oh, it's a tough life. I break. Boom. Snap. I shift. I remount. Oh, that must hurt. Why would you do that? How uh. hey, you feel about that? Yeah. She shine box. Uh. All right. Look at me. Yeah, this. Now, let's just do the shift, okay? So, take your left hand, pin my wrist. Okay. Good. C clamp the neck, C. Perfect. Put all your weight into these hands. Lift your knees off the ground. Perfect, okay? Active toes, put your shin across. Yes, yes. Step your leg up. Take your eye line off of me. Good. Pause here. Yes. Yes. All right. Sit your butt back a little bit. Oh, yes. Good. Good. Okay. Step your left leg in line with my head. Step your right leg back. At the same time? Eh, one at a time is okay. That was good. I want you more over here. Okay. I'm going to have to fully invert to get to you. Okay. Pin. C clamp. Pivot. So shin, yes, step. Step your foot here. Now step that leg back. Yes, very good. Okay, now do the arm lock, the remount, and the dismount. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> You're doing good. You're not supposed You're doing, to No, it's okay. Yes. Yes. Take your time. Good. 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 One more time. Go slow. You're doing good. Come back. Lift your hips, shift your hips. Yes, don't worry about me again. Lift your hips, shift your hips. Don't worry about me. Yes, yes, yes. Good. Ow, my arm. Fuck you, man. Come on. Don't do not say that in a fight. Yes. Good. It's probably cast. Good. Okay. One more time. Yeah, that's right. That's not the move. All right, sorry. Oh, you're just mean, man. Cast. show you how to unlock the arm and what I'll do tonight I'm not sure if it's Andrew or Tim that's coming but I'm gonna get a big burly man to hold on and never let go from an arm lock just to prove a point so we'll be back at 5 30 tonight and um, we'll be going uh, I believe Kankaruma says fireman's carry and half guard top so do me a favor let's get just here once you lay down you get that arm for the sake of argument, grab your bicep and hold tight everything. Don't ever let me get your arm ever. Okay. Okay, pause where you want. 
we'll talk about all the various grips and how people grab and all the fancy stuff. But right now they're holding on for dear life. And let's say they spent the last six months in Juliet doing curls, okay? There's just no way. Okay, in terms of this camera pause here. Right now, her shoulders are rolled off of the ground, right? Put your shoulders on the ground. Yes, everything's tucked in really tight. Mm -hmm. That's much tighter, isn't it? So the shoulder is actually the pivot point for me, not the elbow, so hold on tight. Ah. Most people are gonna say, grab the wrist. Yes, grab a finger, I don't care, it's a fight. Grab the wrist, it's weak. Oh. All right, what if they're hiding their wrist? What if, what if, what if, what if, what if? Structure instead of strength. Right now, pause where you are. I can't, like, don't ever be me. Yes, there's no way. And yes, I could grab a third so I can start to sit up straight. But what I can also do is I can just roll my hips under their shoulder. Oh. What happened? <sighs> so <blessed>. so <laughs> Words, blessed. stay exactly where you are. There's a giant space right now where her shoulder once was, okay? So when I lift the elbow, I keep it tight to the chest, and I'm gonna roll my hip bone underneath the shoulder. Now, what that's doing is weakening everything by subluxing the shoulder. One more time. Try this with a partner at home. Have them hold on for dear life. Take your time with it. You're going to keep the elbow touching your chest, and you're gonna use them to lift them. Okay, so you're giving them a lift, and now you're going to scoop yourself, hold on tight. You're going to scoop yourself underneath the shoulder, okay? Now from here, just, Sorry, you don't know. just fall back. <laughs> Sorry? You're slicing my back. Okay, how's that feel? Better? Kind of. Yeah, oh, okay. Jesus. I'm going to do this with Taylor Andrew, all right? Okay? Stop uh, shaming me. Not me. shaming you. Hold on tight. <laughs> You can watch right on me. Do it to me. Stop shaming me for being weak. We're going to be murdered. Hold on tight. All right, my shoulder's on the ground. You feel that? You got shoulders that is pause. Let's do this a shot. All right, so my shoulder's down. Okay? I want you to no, pull it back. You see, that's not going anywhere. Yeah. Good. I want you to lift my elbow high. Get up underneath my shoulder, scooting closer. Yes. Again. Push your hips to the ceiling. Yes. Come back. Loosen up your legs for the sake of argument. All right. I want you to lift my shoulder off the ground. Get up underneath it. Yes. Now from here, push your hips to the ceiling. Pinch your knees. Ah. Yeah. Again, this time pull your heels, pinch your knees. Pull your heels to you, pinch your knees tight, roll up underneath it. Yes! Yes! It's, and trust me, everything's bicep day for me. Oh, God. That was painful. Stop shaming me for my weakness. Oh, God. Is there anything you want to add on to that? Oh, one minute. No. No, you're done. <laughs> you're done for the day. Oh, God. I will see you guys tonight <laughs> at 5 30 for Kataguruma and Half Guard Top. What about back questions? What about questions? So mean. I'm like, no. <laughs> okay. It's been over an hour. My no God. questions.